This video will show you how to make a simple request to the Ad Manager API using Google's PHP Client Library. This video assumes you've already set up a service account on your Ad Manager network and that you have a basic familiarity with PHP, the Composer Package Manager, and the command line. Navigate your browser to the Google Ads PHP Lib repository. Under Examples, Ad Manager, you will find a file named adsapi underscore php.ini. The PHP client library expects to find this configuration file in your home directory. Click the raw button in GitHub and save this file to your home directory as a template. If you're on a Windows machine, this will be c colon backslash users backslash your username. Also, be sure that the file has the correct extension, .ini. Next, open the configuration file in a text editor to edit the relevant fields. You'll need to enter your network code and an application name. The application name is a string that will be sent to Google with every request and should identify your application. It's important that your application name be unique and descriptive since it can help Google identify requests coming from your application. This can make it easier for us to provide you with support later on. Next, you'll need to uncomment the JSON key file path line and enter the path to the key file you downloaded in the OAuth video. And finally, uncomment the scopes line. Be sure to save your changes to this configuration file. We're almost ready to start writing PHP code. Let's create a project directory to work out of. To install the Google Ads PHP library, run Composer Require in your project directory. This may take a few minutes to install all of the dependencies. Now you should have a vendor directory created by Composer. The Google Ads lib along with the other dependencies are in this folder. Next, create a PHP file in your project directory and open that file in your development environment. I'm using Visual Studio Code, an open source IDE. First, you'll need to require the Google Ads PHP library which can be done using the autoloader created by Composer. You need to retrieve a credential object. Use the OAuth2 token builder to do this. Notice that I'm using a Visual Studio Code extension to automatically include the corresponding use statement. On the token builder, call the from file method to access the configuration file you made earlier in your home directory, and then call the build method. Next, you need to create a session object which can be done with the Add Manager Session Builder. This builder also needs to access your configuration file. Then, you must provide it with the OAuth2 credentials, and then you can build the session. To create a service object, you can use the library's service factory. Note that when you import the service factory, you'll specify the API version in the path, so this will need to be updated as newer versions are released. In this example, we're going to use the network service, so call create network service, passing in the session object. With the network service object, we can now make a request to the Ad Manager API. On the network service, call get current network. It's important to point out that this method is what's actually making a request to the Ad Manager API, and it returns an object representing the API response. All that's left to do now is to print out some information from the response. Let's show the network code and the display name for the current network. All Ad Manager entities have getters and setters that correspond to the attributes in the documentation. Finally, let's add an end of line character. Save this PHP file and open a terminal window to run this example. As you can see, it has printed out the data it retrieved from the Ad Manager network. And that's it! You are now up and running with the Ad Manager API using Google's client library for PHP.